Good evening and welcome. Thank you for being here tonight to share in this very special occasion. If everyone could please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I would like to introduce Mr. Flacco, the National Honor Society advisor. Hello, everyone. On behalf of the faculty, administration, community of Sterling High School, and our National Honor Society, we welcome you to the first ever virtual introduction ceremony. Tonight, our honor guests are our principal, Mr. Jared Claiborne, and our honorary inductee, Mr. Dale Orcheski. Today, we honor the students on stage for achieving excellence. We congratulate them on their effort and achievement. We thank their teachers and coaches for shaping them intellectually, emotionally, and physically. Most importantly, we honor their parents who play the most important role in their students' achievement. Before we move on this evening, I would like to take a minute to thank all of my officers, as well as the seniors, for taking up the mantle of virtual tutoring this semester. Their effort has not gone unnoticed. Sterling counselors and many other teachers as well, on numerous occasions, have let me know how important their effort has been to your peers. Please carry that torch of leadership forward with you. And thank you for being an example for all of your classmates. At this time, I'd like to introduce our principal, Mr. Jared Claiborne. Thank you for joining us for this unprecedented recording and presentation of our National Honor Society. To the class of 2021 and the class of 2022, this is a special occasion that we can enjoy and celebrate together. And the things that stand out to me in the National Honor Society were two words. One is the word of loyalty, loyalty to the school, and second, the pillar of character. And so first, with the loyalty of school, that we have such a tremendous group of students who have such a heart for Sterling High School and for their peers, and that they should carry that on throughout their careers, throughout their lifetime, always remembering the times and the times of challenge and the time of triumph here at Sterling High School. And then character. In this life and society, character is a quality that we all look for, but in our pandemic, the character has been redefined. Um, for those that don't just make excuses or um, reasons why something cannot be done, but for our students who come up with reasons why and how it can be done. And that is a true uh, testimony to the character of the class 2021 and the class of 2022. So on behalf of the administration and your peers, we congratulate you, this class of the National Honor Society. The candle of knowledge symbolizes the light of learning. It is surrounded by the four pillars of the National Honor Society, scholarship, leadership, character, and service. The candle of knowledge will be used to light the four pillars. The first pillar is scholarship. Scholarship means commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours reading and studying, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn when formal education has ended. For education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life which leads to the highest success and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp with which we read with the past and the light illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to conditionally and continually expand their world with through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. Service can be described in various ways. In the routine of the day's work, many opportunities arise to help others. Willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or recognition is the quality we seek in our membership. We are committed to the idea of volunteering our time and abilities to the creation of a better tomorrow.
Character is the force within each individual which distinguishes that person from others. It gives each of us our individuality. It is that without which no one can respect oneself, nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is the force of character that guides one through life, and when once developed, grows steadily. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant action, daily striving to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be, in reality, what we wish to appear to others. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may hope to prove, by example, that we value character. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking the initiative in class and school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to attain the same objective. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interest for the interest of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a country, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed. Thus, to, a le to lead is a substantive charge to each of our members. My mentor is someone who hits right to home quite literally, as it is my older sister. Growing up with her my whole life, I remember when I used to have incidents on the bed we shared and her clothes smelling quite pungent the next morning after. Yet she persisted to deal with my mess. I used to watch her every morning wrap around her silk scarf as she would get up and get ready for high school, thinking it takes great courage to do something that no one in her school did. Oh, I'm getting teary eyed. She amazes me every day to take on new challenges and fight them head on as she too is role modeled that for me. Not only, <laughs> not only did she help me with my homework growing up, while my parents were hard at work, she sacrificed being the tough skinny pig, as all firstborns do. I can't thank her enough for all her support and love she's given me to me and my siblings for the past years. I'm proud to say that she is my mentor <laughs> forever and always. <laughs> My mentor is my pop, Joseph Otieri. As a kid, it is important to be seen, and he was the first person to truly see me. He showed an interest in me and always made time for us to do things together. He guided me through much of my early years with his common sense advice, steady personality, and an ability to find joy in the simple pleasures. He's quick to laugh at a joke, even if he's the butt of the joke, and he always sees the glass as half full. We often took family vacations together, and whether we were visiting the Jersey Shore or Disney World, he always seemed to have the most fun while managing to look out for my safety at the same time. We developed a strong bond over our love of music and good food. He introduced me to his favorite band, the Beatles, which quickly became my favorite band as well, leading me to play the guitar as one of my most enjoyable hobbies. As the patriarch of an Italian family, he set the precedent that good food would be the centerpiece of every family celebration and to be honest, every day. If we watched a movie or visited a museum, he remained interested in the story beyond the final credits, was intellectually curious, and helped me see the best of myself, even at my lowest. He never saw failure as a permanent setback, just a temporary event, an opportunity to excel the next time. He always encourages me to reach higher and to strive to achieve more, to be my best and do my best. He is one of my strongest influences, and I will always follow his approach to life. Hi, my name is Trinity. When Mr. Flacco told us it was time to pick our mentors, I thought of mine immediately. My mentor is Suzanne. I don't really remember meeting her, but I know I was very young. I lived at 48 East 5th Avenue. She lived at 58 East 5th Avenue. Only five houses in between us, but you could hear her laugh from a mile away. 
Over the years, she became my mom's best friend and like an unbiological aunt to me. The four pillars of NHS are scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Let me say that last one again. Character. Suzanne's character is like no other. She is kind, thoughtful, generous, very outgoing, and her faith outshines it all. She has been a role model to me and someone I aspire to be like when I'm older. She takes on everyday challenges that life throws at her with a smile on her face. Even when diagnosed with cancer, I didn't hear her complain once. She just smiled and said, God's got this, and kept that attitude up until the day that she got that test result back that read negative. She serves others on a day-to-day -day basis and is always putting your needs before her own. She is always there to lend a listening ear, and I am incredibly grateful for that. Thank you, Suzanne, for being the woman I aspire to be like when I'm older. I will forever cherish our long hikes and Taco Bell dates. As for everyone else, you need to get yourself a Suzanne. I promise you won't regret it. My mentor is Mr. Manlove. From being my first teacher in high school to my senior year recommendation letter, Mr. Manlove has been there since I started Sterling. As a nervous freshman, I felt comfortable in his English class and found it enjoyable amidst the chaos of high school. Along with that, when I was having personal problems, I could share them without any judgment and knew that he was always there to listen. On a bad day, he was all ears to everything that I had to say. He always knew how to put a smile on my face and made me forget what I was so worried about. And when I wasn't in his class anymore, I could always pop in to say hi and catch up. He always made time for me. He was there from the beginning I joined the girls tennis team in my sophomore year. I was delighted when I heard the announcement that he would be coaching. After school, he was strict yet understanding and a motivating coach. My favorite memory will always be when we caught a W after a game and as a treat, we snacked on a box of Twizzlers until we couldn't eat anymore. Going deeper, I remember when he got his knee surgery and was out of school and sports. The classroom felt different. There were no funny jokes, sarcastic comments, or the regular howdy in the hallway. That also meant he wasn't going to be running around as much with us for the next tennis season. He was still there for all our practices and games, but not as active. I think I speak for many others here that over the years of knowing Mr. Manlow, we realize that he is more than the coach for the JV team or an English teacher, but an integral part of Sterling High School. Graduating, I will miss Mr. Manlove and his random howdies here and there, who I've known and grown accustomed to for the past four years. He was my teacher, my coach, my mentor, my friend, and the most passionate Dallas Cowboys fan I've ever seen. Thank you for always being there for me every day with your enthusiastic spirit where we can talk about everything and anything from A to Z. As my mentor, and spiritual guide, you are irreplaceable. Thank you, Mr. Manlove. Hi, I'm Cassandra Baldino, and I chose Mr. Graffredo as my mentor. Going into high school, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do when I graduated, or what I wanted to do in the future at all. My friend Lizzie Brown was talking to me about the Allied Health Program, and after the elective first aid and safety prevention, I became more and more interested in the health field. I went to Mr. Graffredo and talked to him about his programs and what they entail. I'm so glad I talked to him because now I know exactly what I want to do in the future. Since that conversation, I have taken three of his classes and I have the fourth next semester. His teaching style is unique in the sense that he works with his students as if we're equal to him, like a coworker. This keeps us engaged and able to ask questions and not feel bad when we get it wrong. I have never retained more information than I have in his classes. Even if you are unsure of what in the medical field you want to do, he will make you feel comfortable and exposes you to almost every option. He has become a huge part of my life outside of his own classes. He truly cares about you and how you are doing, not just in school, but with work and even your personal health. He uses interactive approaches and teaching to make the classroom more fun and interesting. The past two years working with him and being able to grow a friendship has benefited my high school career tremendously. He is always available too, even if he is doing other things with his family or projects, he always seems to make time for his students. This quality, along with his unique teaching abilities, makes his classroom more comfortable for learning. 
Thank you, Mr. Goffredo, for being a true inspiration and a mentor for my high school career and for the future. When asked to choose a mentor, I tried to think of a teacher that not only helped me grow as a student, but as a person as well. The teacher who's helped me do this the most is Mr. Marley's. I've had Mr. Marley's as a soccer coach since my freshman year. And over the last four years, he's not only helped me grow as a player, but as a person. And I could always trust him to be honest with me when I went to him and asked what I needed to improve on to become a better player. Through the soccer program, I became a better leader and was honored when him and the other coaches trusted me enough to be a JV captain my junior year. The motto of the program is that we're not just a team, but a family. This really gives the young guys a place to feel comfortable from day one, so that they don't feel out of place everywhere that they go. It also just helps us feel more connected, facing problems not only on the field, but off the field, seen especially this year. Besides helping me on the soccer field, Mr. Marley's has also helped me in the classroom and with choosing a career as well. Coming into high school as a freshman, you start to hear the talk of your future in college. And I had absolutely no clue what I wanted to do. I had no interest at the time. And then in step law and public safety. And I fell in love with this class as soon as I took it. My junior year, I took law and public safety seminar. And in taking that class and participating in the statewide mock trial, I learned that I want to be a lawyer for my future career. I could get lost in not just the classwork alone, but the casework of the cases that we would be trying. Thank you, Mr. Marley's, for the trust that you've had in me over the last four years and the lessons and guidance that you've provided me throughout high school. Hi, I'm Renee Cordone and I chose Mr. Goffredo as my mentor. I met Mr. Goffredo my sophomore year and learned about his allied health program from a very close friend who raved about Mr. Goffredo and the program as well. This led me to join the program the following year since I did have an interest in finding a job in the medical field. This was definitely one of the best decisions I could have made. He has been a very good teacher to me throughout the past few years and has continued to help me throughout any struggles I've had while in his classes. He is very dedicated to his students and makes sure to check up on us and be available when we're in need. Although I'm no longer going directly in the medical field, I know that the information he has taught me will always stick with me. He is also very supportive and always pushes me to do my very best. He never lets me talk down on myself and has very high expectations for me, which of course can be overwhelming, but it has helped me realize that I can achieve great things in the nearby future. I am very glad to have met Mr. Goffredo during my time at Sterling, and although I met him as a teacher, I will always know him as my friend. Thank you, Mr. Goffredo, for being my mentor. Hi, I'm Georgia, and this is my mentor speech. Uh, we made it guys. We made it to the final months of our high school careers. As we draw closer to our graduation date, I've begun reminiscing about the last three and a half years of my life. While doing so, I've come to the realization that there has been one person that has stuck by my side through every step of the way. I legitimately would not have made it through high school without my mentor, without my person. She has helped me in ways that no one else ever could. On my first day of high school, after picking out my outfit for me, She's the one who got me mentally prepared to attend the Sterling High School. My older sister, Leah, not only helped me through high school, but she was the main reason why I even showed up every day. I would have missed every summer practice if it wasn't for her. I would have missed every Saturday morning practice if it wasn't for her. Even though she did not particularly enjoy driving me to practice as the sun was rising, she did it anyways. On the first day of sophomore year, after picking out my outfit for me, she got me mentally prepared for my second year of high school. She had taught me the ways of Sterling, like the quickest way to get to my classes, how to unlock my locker by myself, and most importantly, how to stay out of the juniors and seniors way. On my first day of junior year, after picking out my outfit for me, she's the one who got me ready for the hardest year of high school. And boy, were they not wrong. Junior year really had a good kick to it, but I think we ended it on a good note. On my first day of my senior year, she obviously picked out my outfit for me and reminded me that this was it. This was my last year. Leah, I know you were going to watch this video, so I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for 
putting up with your annoying little sister, and making sure that I successfully finish high school. You are the most genuine, most caring, most responsible, most headstrong. Any positive adjective I can think of is what I would say to describe you. You are the best mentor I could have ever asked for. No one since last year that we had to pick our mentors. I already had in mind the person I was going to choose. And a year later, my person is still the one that I wanted to pick then. Personally, this individual has helped me for the better. In fourth grade, when I returned to Stratford after living in Florida for a year or two, I was a problematic student, we could say. However, there was one teacher who knew I had so much more than what I was offering. Of my time at Yellen, this person was the only one to place me in the GATE program. She also allowed me to help her with her class when I should have been out at recess. On top of that, instead of pushing me aside to entertain myself, she included me in her lessons and let me go around the room to help her students. Her imprint and guidance that has helped me immensely is something that I am extremely grateful for, and it shows to those who knew me before. Last year, after my first NHS induction ceremony, an old teacher of mine came up to me. Not intending any ill will, she congratulated me and stated that she was pleasantly shocked to see me on the stage. She was the one who taught the gate class I was placed in and knew of my bad behavior firsthand. However, there was one person who helped me overcome all of this, which allowed me to reach where I am now. Despite walking out of her class, making scenes during her teaching, and back-talking, Mrs. Lewandowski had completed and total faith in me. If it wasn't for her belief in a troubled child that no one else wanted to put the time into, I wouldn't have the opportunity today to give this speech. Thank you, and your impact still affects me. The person that I chose to be my mentor is my Aunt Marisa. She is one of the strongest women that I know. When she is faced with adversity, she doesn't shy away, but she faces it head on. Ever since I was younger, I have always looked up to my aunt because she has always been such a brave person. She is the type of person that puts the needs of others over herself. When I was younger, she put her whole life on hold to take care of my grandmother who was sick. And I know it was hard on her, but she did everything that she possibly could. Not only is she my aunt and my mentor, but she is like a second mom to me. She is always there when I need her, even if I just had a bad day and want someone to talk to about it. She is the type of person that I aspire to be. I have no words to describe how thankful I am to have someone like that in my life. Diti, I love you and thank you for helping shape who I am today. My name is Allison Jolene and my mentor is Ms. Carson. I met Ms. Carson first when I was in the seventh grade getting ready to be a part of the National Junior Honor Society in my middle school. She is someone who I look up to and admired her accomplishments. She's a very bright and intelligent woman who is so strong. She is someone who is easy to talk to and can understand situations that others may not. She keeps you in check, but also at the same time tells you a different way of approaching something. She is someone who wants to watch me succeed and help me push me along when needed. Ms. Carson has taught me to never give up and look at things through other people's perspective. She's a strong-headed woman who I hope to be one day to help me achieve my own goals. She has pushed me to push me to be a part of huge life experiences, like competing in a pageant and even going to the Ronald McDonald House to help the sick children. She has helped me go through college essays, best friend problems, and even by going on runs with me through the town. She has become like an older sister to me, and I thank her for that. I also want to say thank you for telling me if I did something wrong and showing how I can fix it. Thank you for being honest with me and giving me the appropriate advice when needed. Thank you for dropping everything just to pick up the phone so I can ask you a silly question. Thank you, Karen, for being the one to laugh at all my jokes and thank you for being such a great member and a role model to me. When I was first told to choose a mentor, I had to think about what being a mentor meant to me. A mentor is someone who can drop anything at any time to help someone, no matter how well they know them or how well they know their struggles. This is exactly what Mr. Strauss does. Strauss is the type of person that can walk into a room and you can instantly feel the negativity go away. Strauss is such a kind-hearted and happy person that he just carries all that happiness and positivity with him throughout the hall. It's like you can just feel it as he walks by. He walks into a classroom and instantly everybody in there is excited to see him and excited to hear what he has to say no matter what he's saying. He is just the type of person that you look forward to seeing every day, especially in a time like now. When I first had Strauss as a teacher, it was photography my junior year, and instantly I loved having him as a teacher because of his positivity and how he made things that were as fun, even more fun than they were. Strauss is the type of person that could make anything 
more fun because you knew that he was there and you knew that he was going and it just instantly made things better for you. I had never met somebody so kind-hearted enough to stand outside in the freezing cold for 12 hours collecting toys for our yearly toy drive and did not complain a single bit. Standing outside in freezing cold weather, running on coffee and hot chocolate and didn't complain a single bit about how cold it was or how much his legs hurt or how boring he, it was when nobody was dropping off toys. I had never met a person that would willingly do that every single year, knowing it was going to be 40 degrees. That's just the type of person he is, and going to school in a time like now, that's the type of person that everybody needs, and that's the type of person that I've relied on in a time like now. Strauss, thank you so much for always inspiring me and just pushing me to be a better me and always telling me that it was okay to do crazy things and that I shouldn't be embarrassed. And thank you for always telling me that it's not about the finished time, it's about the finished line. Thank you. Hi, my name is Paige Jewell, or Jace, as my mentor, Mr. Goffredo, calls me. A mentor is defined as someone who guides another to greater success, and after taking three of Mr. Goffredo's classes, he's made it very clear that that is all he wants for us, is to succeed. I've never had a teacher post their students like he does. He never lets us settle for less than our best and believes that we are more than capable of learning difficult content. He goes above and beyond in making sure we are comfortable with what we are learning by offering his free time. I admire his good humor and enthusiasm, as well as his ability to form appropriate in-depth relationships with his students. I haven't had many teachers who will take the time to get to know their students and their goals, and I appreciate this about him. Mr. Goffredo has made a, such a positive impact on all of his students who have taken the time to respect him and accept his help. Even those who have already graduated speak highly of him and thank him for all his classes I've taught him. Last year, I had AP Biology, and it was my first Goffredo class. I struggled with the workload and content and began doubting that I would pass the AP exam at the end of the year. However, Goff believed I could do it and always reminded me that he was there to help. His door was open during lunch and access for anything that I needed. With his encouragement and guidance, my study habits improved and I passed the AP exam in the spring. I am so grateful for all that he has done for me, my family, and my friends. Thank you, Mr. Goffredo, for being my mentor and the best fake cousin Good ever. Good evening. My name is Stephanie Kelly and I have chosen Mr. Goffredo to be my mentor. I got a late start to his allied health program here at Sterling, but I am so glad that I made the decision to join. I knew that I wanted to have a career in the healthcare field, but Mr. Goffredo helped me realize that I want to be a nurse. He has been an amazing teacher over the past two years. He has a different way of teaching that breaks the standard system, and I have never learned more useful information in my life. He goes above and beyond by always being available to answer any questions I have, and I do have a lot of them. Not only has he been the best teacher, but he has also been a friend. Mr. Garfredo has helped me throughout my college decision process and has made it a point to mention countless times that we can reach out to him after graduation. This just shows how dedicated he is to the success of his students, including myself. And with that being said, thank you, Mr. Garfredo, for being my mentor. Good evening. My name is Antonio Klein. I can best describe a mentor as somebody you look up to and someone you go to for help. Recently, over the past two years, I was able to get involved with my local fire department where I met my mentor, firefighter Rick Knight. Rick is a paid firefighter for Gloucester Township. He has gone above and beyond to show me that life isn't always going to be easy. Life is going to be difficult. Life is going to throw curveballs at you. He said, always push through, no matter what. Never give up. And if you need help, I can always go to him. And he said he'll be there to help me and guide me through the challenges. There's been many times where I've texted Rick to help me with the school project, or just to ask him how his day was, and he's always been there to help me. I look up to him as a role model, and one day, hopefully become a career fireman, just like Hi, him. my name is Riley Mansfield. My mentor is someone that I haven't known long, but in such a short time, they made such an impact on my life. To me, a mentor is an experienced and trusted advisor, someone who is there to guide you in the right path. Coach Baines has been my coach for three years and even my teacher for one year, but he has been so much more than just a teacher and a coach. He has taught me how to be a leader and to grow as an athlete, not only physically, but mentally. When I first met Baines, he was so full of dad jokes and sarcasm, I wasn't sure what I had just signed up for. Nevertheless, I walked into the first practice with my head up and an open mind. Baines reviewed my previous seasons with me and set the bar up high. He always had the highest expectations because he knew what I was capable of. He helped me realize my potential and I'm so grateful for that. 
It is because of Baines that I even had the thought of running after high school. And thanks to him, this dream has become a reality. He pushed me to be my best and to step out of my comfort zone. After every race, I would go up to him looking for his approval. And no matter the time or the outcome, he would always high five me and say, nice job. This was one of the many things that inspired me about him. He would push you during practice, but at the end of the day, he would always be proud of you. Baines made me a better person. He taught me that everything is easier when you have a positive mindset. From running workouts to taking a test, a smile on your face and a bit of confidence made the task at hand far easier to face. He mentioned this positive mindset every time I was grumpy during practice, and I think that it is permanently drilled into my head. I'm not complaining though, because having a positive outlook is such an important thing in running and in everyday life. I just want to say thank you, Baines, for being my mentor throughout high school and teaching me lessons that I will carry with me throughout the rest of my life. My mentor is my older brother, Josh. Josh is someone I've always looked up to like an idol, starting from a young age, especially because he is four years older than me. Even when we were just kids, I would look to him for inspiration in everything. For example, since the beginning of his school days, Josh was a student with a positive mindset and terrific work ethic, leading to him receiving outstanding grades and comments from his teachers. Throughout my middle school and high school experience, I always set my goals high, inspired by the example Josh showed me. Additionally, Josh has always been a friendly person. He's had plenty of friends in school and at the jobs he's worked at. And though I'm not as extroverted and outgoing as he is, by seeing him, I've longed to at least be just as likable and personable. Furthermore, I have to mention how funny Josh can be sometimes, even without trying. On some occasions, he's able to make my family members laugh with a simple witty comment. Overall, Josh is smart, kind, and fun to be around. I can still remember one time when I was four and Josh was eight, where my family was at the mall and we were standing near the bed section. Josh, being ever the adventurous child, started to jump on one of the mattresses. Now, of course, I just had to follow his lead, as I constantly did at that age. However, after a few moments of bouncing, I somehow fell, and before Josh could react, I hit my forehead against the foot of the bed and started bleeding. I regretfully gained a scar from that experience. My mother then advised me not to always copy Josh, though my underdeveloped brain didn't follow her direction so wisely until I gained the knowledge to make some decisions for myself. While Josh obviously wasn't the greatest influence as a child, I can say with all my heart that he has grown into someone who consistently displays his intelligence and confidence in a way I strive to match. As of right now, he is in his third year of studying for his Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree at Rutgers University. At this point, it's clear, very clear, that he is one of the hardest workers I know, and I'm determined to do just as well as he does, not only now, but in the future as well. I'm endlessly grateful that I have a sibling like Josh to guide me through life, whether it be intentionally or not. And though I may always be his little sister, I hope one day I can somehow be a guide for him. Hi, too. this is Christina. She is a nurse at Virtua Hospital and has been a family friend for a long time. I picked Christina to be my mentor because not only has she been a friend, but she is also my youth leader. We've known each other almost my whole life, and I've always looked up to her as a big sister. We've had countless conversations about personal life, spiritual growth, and my future career in medicine. She's given me really sound advice over the years and has helped me with my college application process. Not only do I look up to her in these serious matters, but she is also someone I can count on to put a smile on my face, and we've shared a lot of laughter. Thank you for always being there for me and showing me what it means to be a leader and a friend. Hi, I'm Melanie Nafee, and this is my mentor speech. A mentor is someone who guides a less experienced person by building trust and modeling positive behaviors. And I have someone in my life just like that. They came into my life a year and a half ago. At that time, I was expecting to be as a trainer that would only help me grow physically. Little did I know he was going to help me grow as a person. This person is Brian Thomas. Brian works as a performance coach at Precept Speed School. Every session I have with him is something I really look forward to. Not only does he push me to my limits and helps me get stronger physically, but he also helps me mentally. He believes that I can do things that to me seem impossible. He has this thing where if we say I can't, we have to do push-ups, which um, most of us hate. <laughs> that helps build my mindset to never think negatively. Because if you think you can do it, you will. He always has this, he always has this bright attitude that can make anyone smile. He spends his free time watching all his clients' games, and he tries to make as many as he can. 
it feels nice having someone that not only believes in you but will help you reach your goals. I can't really put into words how much Ryan means to me because he's helped me become the person I am today and I'm really grateful for Hi, that. my name is Angelina Police, and my mentor is Mr. Goffredo. Goffredo is someone from day one that has always been there for me. He has talked me through countless problems, some that have nothing to do with school. He always pushes me to never quit, always going to bat for me, pushing me to be my best, and as someone I know will always be 100% honest with me about any and everything. His classes are very enjoyable and I look forward to being in his presence daily. He treats all of his students kindly and fairly, like young adults and human beings, and I know how much we all appreciate the countless hours he puts in to ensure our success. I look up to Goffredo so much because of the way he puts effort into everything he does and all he puts into his students. He cares about us all the time and reminds us constantly about how he is there to help us round the clock seven days a week. Goffredo has such a positive outlook on life and always knows how to make me smile. The life lessons he has taught me these past three years have been things that I will truly carry with me forever. My time with Goffredo has been far from easy, but I wouldn't trade that for anything because he has prepared me for my future so immensely. I truly cannot imagine my high school experience without having him as a teacher and a mentor. Thanks for always being hard on me, Goffredo, because I know it is your way of telling me you know I can do better. Thank you for always pushing me to not quit and helping me get back on my feet and keep trying. I know I don't always show up, but I appreciate everything you do for me and it never goes unnoticed. Yeah, we be teachers, coaches, bosses, people who will impact us for the better. My person is Mr. Ken Vaughn, who was my ESL teacher in elementary school. Many teachers in Sterling High School and in Summerlin Park have helped me to get to where I am today, and I would always be grateful for that. But Mr. Vaughn was there from the beginning of times. In kindergarten, Mr. Vaughn was starting to teach in Stormwood Park School as an ESL teacher. He was the teacher who really cared about his students and looked after them after the and outside the classroom. He would help us read, pronounce, and write, and at the end of this class, I would always remember having a small conversation at the table while making origami. I honestly don't know why every time I went to his class, I had to make origami when at the end of the day, I would always just throw it away. I think he knew that it was my thing because I remember one time when I wouldn't finish my Rosetta Stone, he told me I wouldn't be able to make any until my work was done and I rushed to get it done. After third grade, he told his students he was leaving, which really broke my heart because at the, he was the only teacher at the time I was comfortable enough to express myself. He was that teacher who understood my English well enough to help me correct it. He was that person who really took the time and effort to make sure his students were okay ed educationally and mental wise. Now he's the director, acting director of New Jersey Department of Education, finding ways to better education for everyone, which I am really proud of. I want to say thank you for your support and kindness throughout the years. I like to believe that you helped me take the first steps of my accomplishments because uh, at a young age, you taught me that great things will happen if you put all the effort and pride. You are one of the reasons why I want to become an elementary teacher because that I want to help, I want to have the same impact on children who are the future. You inspire and motivate me during difficult times and I think I can't thank you enough. Thank you for being a great mentor and I know six year old Liz is thankful too. Thank you. When you think of the word mentor, I think of someone who is a helper. Someone who is able to teach me skills and tactics on how to walk through life. Someone who will continue to be there for me, even when it seems inconvenient. For me, that person is Senior Chief Dale Olczewski. When I first joined the NJRTC program, I thought that Senior Chief was out to get me. My very first day of orientation, I felt absolutely terrified because he would always pick on me, and he still does. I didn't understand why he was acting like this at first, but later I would figure out it had much deeper meaning. Because he was so hard on me and pushed me out of my comfort zone, I was able to be shaped into a new and more confident person. He gave me opportunities to help me grow, succeed, and take on life with a new fire in my heart. To say that I appreciate everything that he's done for me is an understatement. He taught me to have a backup plan for my backup plans, and most importantly, not to fear the new and unpredictable changes that would eventually affect my life. Being a student in his class showed me a lot about myself that I didn't even realize in the first place. So, to my mentor, thank you for changing my John life. John F. Kennedy once said, We must find time to stop and thank the people who make a difference in our lives. Mentors make a huge difference in our lives, and we do not always take the time to look back and think about what a big impact they have. There are people who guide us and positively influence our lives greatly. They give us support and help us through tough times, keeping us motivated and looking forward towards the future rather than solely focusing on the issues of the present. My mentor and a huge inspiration to me is my grandmother. 
She has taught me many life lessons and skills and has been there for me through many hardships. Ever since I was little, when she would take care of me when my mom was at work and take me to museums and gardens to explore, she has encouraged me to pursue so many of my passions. I remember how supportive she was when I first told her about my interest in chemistry. She was enthusiastic about it and immediately started giving me recommendations and tips about how to develop my interest. She often shares her past experiences with me, like telling me stories about how she used to work in a laboratory, which makes me look forward to going into a profession similar to hers, and I am happy to be able to learn from someone who is so knowledgeable and experienced. She always gives me advice about the future, and she is looking to help me be successful and make the most out of life. I have an extreme amount of respect for her. She is not only my mentor, but also my biggest role model, and I would not have been able to get to where I am today without her. The mentor I chose is my fourth grade teacher, Miss Sovi. I owe a lot to her. Besides the normal school curriculum, she has taught me so much more. How to stand strong, work hard, have fun, and how to be a good person. She helped me believe that I'm capable of big things and she has sparked the journey I'm on now. Miss Obi is an amazing role model and I will forever be grateful to have had her as a teacher. I learned about National Junior Honor Society from her and I instantly knew it was something I wanted to be a part of. I was able to work side by side with her and she taught us to give back when we could. If you know Miss Obi, she's an avid coffee lover. Every Friday, she would buy the person behind her a cup of coffee and it was her way of paying it forward. She is my inspiration to give back in any way I can to my community. I've made so many memories in her classroom. She allowed us to free our imaginations and believe that the sky's the limit. Stepping into her classroom every day felt like a new adventure. Whether we were camouflaging butterflies in the classroom to symbolize natural selection, dissecting owl pellets, learning about Arnold Palmer while drinking Arnold Palmer's, and the Earl of Sandwich while eating sandwiches, a wax museum where I got to be and learn all about Amelia Earhart, plenty of spelling bees, even creating our own aliens, and so much more. Every second of it was fun and memorable. I feel honored to have had such an amazing woman in my life, and I can't wait to show you how far I'll go. And as always, once an all-star, always an all-star. Hi, my name is Kaylee Sims, and my mentor is Berenger. I've known him since my freshman year. During freshman year, uh, he was my softball coach and he influenced me a lot uh, during that time. During that time, I was having a difficult time with some stuff I was going through uh, and he noticed. He talked to me about it uh, and he really gave me some good advice to you know, help me with the situation and help me get through it. Uh, and up until now, you know, senior year and everything, he's really just always been there for me. Uh, anytime I needed to talk, I could just go to him and he was always he's always checking in on me and i trust him a lot and i really appreciate like all he's done for me and i'm glad that we have formed this bond that we have and um these are just a few of the reasons that he is my mentor okay so for my mentor i chose my biology and anatomy teacher golfredo i chose him because in the classroom he's always trying to teach us stuff like outside the curriculum stuff that we're going to use in like college and just in life in general and then also outside the classroom he's always like trying to help us with college stuff essays scholarships i know for me he's helped me a lot with like what I want to do in life and um, the different paths I can take and like helps me review my essays a lot and give me ideas. So I just wanted to say thank you to him. Good evening. My name is Amanda Ware and I've chosen my dance teacher, Miss A, to be my mentor. I've been dancing in Adagio Dance Center for Miss A for three years now. Before, I came from a dance studio where my main teacher wasn't the kindest. I was often targeted with hurtful words that made me lose a lot of confidence and passion for the thing I love the most. Finally, I decided enough was enough. I had heard about Adagio and seen them at dance competitions and decided to give it a shot. Switching dance studios can be really intimidating and scary, but I was immediately welcomed with open arms. All the other dancers and teachers made me feel so welcomed and like I belong. Miss A knew about my past, but over the years has been able to help me gain my confidence back. 
She always has something to say to bring you up if you're feeling down. She's also aware of all the pains I have in my body and is always making sure I'm being safe and taking care of myself. Miss A is someone I know I can talk to at any time if I have an issue. She's so understanding and truly cares about each and every one of her students. She has also been such a great help to my family. Both of my parents are losing their jobs, but she has made such a large gesture to help us with our upcoming financial issues. I can't thank her for that enough. I'm so thankful to be able to learn and grow from such an amazing person. Honestly, I never thought I was going to be able to regain my love for dance back, but Miss A made that possible. Miss A truly is a beautiful woman inside and out, and I'm so lucky to have her as my mentor. Six years ago, I joined the band. I didn't know anyone and I wasn't very good at playing my instrument. Despite all that, band was one of my favorite places to be and still is. I've grown and learned so much because of the band and the music program. It's going to leave a lasting impact on my life. Not just because of what I learned or the kids in the program, but because of Mr. Young. At first I wasn't too sure about continuing. Almost everyone else was in high school and I had to do a lot of practicing to catch up to even the semblance of being on a high school level. But I wasn't left behind. Mr. Young helped me and inspired me when I was new and hardly knew how to play my instrument, let alone march at the same time. By the end of my first marching band season, I had improved so much and enjoyed actually understanding what was going on in the music that I did it again the following year. He has created an engaging and fun learning environment where you forget your learning. He somehow manages to slip in new knowledge for us. Mr. Young is always there to push us to be the best that we can be. You don't get better if you don't get challenged, and Mr. Young knows exactly how to challenge everyone in the right way where we'll be get better but not frustrated. He wants all of his students to succeed and be continuously improving. He has always inspired me to be the best I can be and help me get there. Hello, my name is Jason Yang. Before the start of high school, I did not know what to do. I had no exact interest or desire to join a club or sport. So. A friend suggested to me to join the school's Navy JRTC program. I thought it was just like a club with militaristic aspects, so I joined because I had a few friends in it. Instead, I found mentors that would guide me through high school. One that had the most impact on me was Commander Eric Humphreys. Throughout my four years in high school, he has taught me self-discipline, personal responsibility, and many other things in his classes. He has also provided me with great opportunities to explore and improve my own body and mind. One such important opportunity to provide me was a chance to go to Newport, Rhode Island to attend Leadership Academy, a two-week academy that tested one's physical and mental strength. It was where I not only learned much about leadership and character building, but also made many great friends. Thank you, Commander, for making such a big impact that will carry on for the rest of my life. I pledge myself to uphold the high purpose of... I pledge myself to uphold the high purpose of... The National Honor Society. The National Honor Society. To which I have been selected. To which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. For which it stands. I will be loyal to my school. I will be loyal to my school. And I will maintain and encourage. And I will maintain and encourage. High standards of. Hannah Adadokin. Nathan Carmody. Aaron Carroll. Vivian Cesarano Aline Cole Isabella D'Angelo Faith Dixon Madeline Falk
Ashley Harbert. Alexis Hatfield. Madison Hogel. Shahela Janatul. Joey Lomas. Kayla Mercado. Melanie Nafee. Emily Wien. Lena Wien. Angelina Please. Sydney Redfern. Leah Riley. Alyssa Ritchie. Lainey Shaw. Kaylee Sheehan. Kaylee Sims. Andrew Tummings. Tori Wilsey. Michael Berkeley. At this time, I'd like to introduce our honorary NHS inductee, Senior Chief Olduszewski. Good evening. I am both honored and humbled to be before you. I congratulate each of you on your induction into this most prestigious society. Today we hear a lot about choices in, the, in our society, some not so good. However, an honor such as this is a wonderful way to recognize each of your positive choices and the many sacrifices you have made on this journey. As I was preparing for tonight, I looked at the four fundamental requirements of scholarship, leadership, community service, and character. Tonight, I would like to focus on character and leadership. As a professional leader in the military, a person's everyday character was of the most importance. We can speak of the overwhelming list of attributes to positive character, honesty, respect, honor, integrity, self-discipline, and on and on. The people that we surround ourselves with is reflective of our self-respect and the concern that we have for others. Most often, we only refer to one's character when it's on public display for something above and beyond or something extremely negative. But every character, everyday character is more about our personal commitment to ethical and compassionate decision making. How do I think? How do I act when no one is watching? A title does not make you a good leader, but good character will. Carrying yourself with honor and dignity, being responsible for your own actions, taking the initiative where and when the need arises, that's everyday leadership. In closing, you have already made learning a habit. 
I implore you to make it a desire, an addiction, because the world around you is full of learning opportunities, and your life will become richer for it. Knowledge will take you through the hard times by allowing you to see the path ahead. And again, thank you for this honor. Congratulations to the entire Sterling National Honor Society. We thank everyone for your support and participation in tonight's event. I'd like to say a special thank you to Mr. K, the NHS committee, maintenance staff here at Sterling, also Mr. Claiborne, Mr. Sheehan, Ms. Coker, and also Ms. B Ms. Billingsley as well for all their help in making this ceremony special for this evening. Thank you and have a good night.